Recently, I was just in Ojai, California for the Lumix Collective, and I wanted to ask a couple creators what their thoughts were on the S52X versus the G9 Mark II. This is Josh Cameron. We are here in Ojai, California. Hot take, S52X versus the G9 Mark II. What are some of your thoughts, opinions? Do you prefer one over the other? I feel like the G9 Mark II is as far as they have been able to take Micro Four Thirds so far, but I feel like the S52X is just the beginning of where they're about to take full frame. So one to me is sort of like an end product, and one's a sort of we're just getting started product. But they're both amazing, man. I just wish that we have 4K 120. I know. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And open gate 60. And oh. open, yeah, 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 of course. I mean, there's so many things that the uh, Micro Four Thirds system is better for. It's smaller, you have smaller lenses, um, higher frame rates, less processing, not as much memory needed, all that sort of stuff, right? But the full frame Im image quality is still, you're never gonna not get a better image from a full frame sensor. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is, you know? So like, they're both amazing and you can get like amazing results with either one, right? Um, and it all, for me, the way I balance it is it comes down to what I'm shooting. If I would need to be more mobile and I know I'm gonna be like, holding this camera all day. I tend to want to lean to the G9 Mark II just because of the weight and the size of the lenses. It just it does not kill my lower back. The S52X is my other main camera and that's my favorite one. My like pride and joy is yeah. that camera. A little heavier, but even that I like try to scale back on lenses and stuff. But with that one, I pretty much keep it permanently rigged up in a cage with an SSD. Not necessarily like top handles and all that, I still try to keep my weight right. down, but I'm just like always recording to SSD so I can just do like highest quality that I could possibly get with that full frame and still be able to take pictures, just not have to worry about space throughout the day. So that's kind of like how I work it. What do you like between both the cameras and what's one thing that you might like about one camera over the other? <laughs> so it's, it's, interesting because I'm mostly just a full frame shooter. I don't have a ton of experience with Micro Four Thirds, so it's been fun to use both of them. But so far, probably my favorite feature that I wish would come to the S52X, autofocus, autofocus settings are great, but I really want the IBIS settings. Like, I know that if, if it exists at some point, it's not going to be as good as the GI yeah. Mark II just because of the uh, body, like the limitations physically, dimensions of the body, and the sensor, sorry. But that like standard and high setting, I'd love to see that. I'm with here, Emily from Micro Four Third Nerds. You probably know who she is, and I'm gonna ask her a couple different questions about the S52X versus the G9 Mark II. Is there one that you're more of a fan of? I just wanna get some of your thoughts and opinions between those two cameras. So up until before, before the G9 Mark II, the, the S5 series has been like my talking to camera, camera, because the autofocus is just incredible. But now I'm really happy that the G9 Mark II has sort of caught up. And now I really do see it as like an everything camera. It's small enough to travel with. You've got really good burst modes, recognition features. So I am team G9 Mark II quite predictably. I feel like you have to with that name too, as your yeah. channel. That's it, I'm in now. But yeah, I'm so happy that we finally have safety checked with Micro Four Thirds. I'm with Caleb Hoover in Ojai, California, and we're gonna be asking him S52X versus G9 oh. Oh. Mark II. Some oh. hot thoughts, what, what okay. do you prefer? What do you like about each one? Um, what do you dislike about okay, each so one? Okay, so first of all, you know, politically correct answer, they're both fantastic cameras. True. 4K 120 on the G9 II, I love that. The other, I don't know, the X? There's just something about the X that I love. Mm. So if I had to choose one over the other, is that what you asked? Yeah, it's remember. just like, what's the versus? I would, yeah, I would probably do, I'd probably go with the the X over the G9 II, um, just because of some of the other settings and stuff that I really like. So. Right, yeah, it can't be open gate three by two. Yeah, that that is, I'm shooting this whole week, I'm shooting. Right. Open. Yeah, and but if you're traveling, the G9 Mark II makes way more Absolutely. sense in lenses like sizes. The the G9 II, my video, check it out uh, on the channel. Traveling with the G9 II, probably one of the best travel cameras that you can get right now. Yeah. Just FYI. It is. Sweet. Awesome, man.